Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to Best Kept Plans. Today's video is going to be a plan with me for the week of November 20th through the 26th, 2023 using my B5 Archer and Olive notebook. If you're interested in seeing that, please stick around. Here we are in my Archer and Olive notebook. For this week's spread, I'm going to be using these Autumn Bloom stickers, Leaves stickers, Khaki Alcohol Ink stickers, Homebody Quote stickers, Number stickers, Days of the Week stickers, and month stickers all from according to Allie. I will also be using these three washi tapes. So first to start off, it's been a long time since I have done a plan with me. Very excited to finally feel motivated enough to get back into my planner. I do still have the remnants of a sinus infection that started like three to four weeks ago at this point, it's been pretty rough that it's lingered for so long. It's my first time ever having a sinus infection and I feel terrible for people who get these all the time because it's, I haven't felt sick, but I've just sounded terrible and yeah. <laughs> Um, for this week's spread, I did want to kind of keep things simple and go back to what I'm most comfortable with, which is utilizing stickers. It again has been a while since I have planned a spread in my planner. The last spread that I put together was for the week of things, uh, that's a lie, the week of Halloween. This spread is actually going to incorporate the week of Thanksgiving. Um, so yeah, I, I wanted to stick with stickers. I decided uh, to pull a bunch from According to Allie. I absolutely love using her stickers. And so I decided to use two different washi tapes as uh, kind of headers basically to put behind the days of the week and date stickers that I used. And now I'm going into the bottom right corner and I'm going to create a quote cluster using a bunch of deco and washi tape. I did cut this off a little bit and so I apologize that the bottom of the page isn't quite visible. I didn't realize it as I was do as I was putting this together. Um but I did intentionally want the washi to kind of feed into the September box. That was intentional for sure. Uh, I did want the alcohol ink sticker and this autumn bloom to be kind of coming off the page towards the right. And then I debated what quote I was actually going to use in this area, but this home sticker just kind of worked really well um, with the area, with the size that I felt like I could devote to the deco. So yeah, it worked out. I do really like the way that that uh, cluster came out and I'm just now cutting off some excess of the stickers. Next, I'm taking two smaller Autumn Bloom stickers that I had on an old sheet and putting them towards the middle of the spread where left and right page uh, separate. I just wanted to incorporate these that way I could get rid of that sticker sheet and this seemed like a great way to do so. So I'm laying down a little bit of washi vertically and then putting those stickers down on top of it. Again, nothing super involved but I think it does help having a little bit of deco kind of in the middle of the page and getting rid of those two stickers worked out pretty perfect. Now I'm going in with my Micron in 08 and putting in my lines to separate each day of the week. Generally, this is the last thing I do when I'm putting a spread together, but I very intentionally did it at this point in the plan with me because the way that I wanted to lay down the deco stickers in the top left box of the spread, I wanted them to be focused 
just towards the bottom right of that box. And so I needed the lines there to tell me when I needed to cut off excess of a sticker. So uh, as you can see, I started out with laying down one of the khaki alcohol ink stickers, and now I'm going in with a leaf sticker. Uh, definitely had a little bit of a challenge of uh, cutting these uh, stickers. I think that the slice knife that I have is just old and getting dull at this point, but lay down another leaf sticker and then um, I am going to go in with this larger autumn bloom sticker. I didn't know exactly how I was going to lay it down at first um, but based on where I put the alcohol ink in the leaf sticker I knew I wanted it to be more vertical. Um, before laying it down though I did want to put in all of the different washi tapes that I was using in this spread so that the sticker could lay on top of them. So I went in with all three different uh, washies and as you can see here I'm laying down that autumn bloom sticker more vertically and then I'm going to go in with my ruler and my slice knife again and cut off the excess. Fortunately when I was cutting through the paper sticker with the slice knife it cut through really really nicely. Once I'm done cutting up all the excess of this sticker, I am going to go in with a November sticker as well as a quote sticker. The quote sticker was one that I very specifically wanted to use. The way that the font is set up, everything is aligned to the right and that's actually why I decided to lay down the deco the way I did in this box. That way it kind of went along with the orientation of the quote sticker. And after that quote sticker is down, we are going to be all done with this week's spread. I love the way that this came out. It's giving me the perfect amount of fall energy. I'm really happy to finally be back filming a plan with me. I hope you all enjoyed this video and the way this spread came out. As always, be safe everyone. Bye-bye.